What's going on? Hello there. It's great to see every single one of your smiling faces. It's been about a week or so since I've been able to do anything with my camera. Haven't been able to do any videos, haven't been able to go out and shoot any photos. If you follow me on Instagram and check out my stories, I posted a couple of stories saying that, well, I sent my camera off to Canon to get the sensor clean and, you know, basic maintenance. But, got my camera back finally and we're here in the Catskills up in New York. My buddy Bob and I are currently climbing up to 4,000 feet at this summit that's called, what was it, Black, Black Dome? Oh, and there's Bob. Say hi. To anybody that likes to go hiking, backpacking, what have you, and you love to do photography and whatnot, strongly advise you to grab one of these. It's a bladder by a brand called Camelback, not sponsored. It's basically a pouch that you fill with water and then you put it in your backpack and then you have water on the go and then you don't have to take off your backpack and fiddle around looking for a water bottle or whatever you're holding your water in. Personally, I have the three liter, so fill like three liters of water and just bite and suck like a giant straw. Hydration or die, everybody. Stay hydrated, I'm telling you. It's like, Bob, go on without me. Okay. If I die, just leave me here. No, I'm just kidding. It's not too bad once you kind of get used to it. Except when you have like, you know, little boulders and then a giant one and then you almost trip, fall to your death. But last night, Bob hit me up and he was like, dude, what do you say cat skills tomorrow? And of course, my reply was, hell yes. But for those who do not know what the cat skills are, they're basically this range of mountains that intersect with another range of mountains that are called the Adirondacks. And they're located here in upstate New York. By the looks of it, it actually looks like it's starting to flatten out. That was probably the steepest hill that I've climbed in a while. I feel like one of my lungs just kind of gave out and was like, huh, not today. Whew, almost fell. Seems that we're almost at the top. Oh. Well, according to this, it says that the Black Dome is about like half a mile this way. Oh look, there's Bob. More hills. Here we go. Round two. Mike. What's up? All right. So here's about where we're at, um, about 3,500 feet elevation, right on. 0.6 miles from the Blackhead Summit, two scenic overlooks, so we can probably just loop, loop back, follow this ridge line here, because that view looks like it might be pretty gorgeous, head back to the car, this way. That sounds good. Whoa, -ho, check this out. We are officially at 3,500 feet. So this is officially the highest I've ever backpacked, hiked, climbed, what have you. Because I think the pinnacle was actually like 1,700 feet. And now this is like double, more than double. Yeah. Bob's got the right idea, packing light. Yeah. Then there's me hiking with like 25, 30 pounds on my back. Here's Bob, the mountain man. Yeah. <laughs> Climbing up super steep inclines and whatnot. It's like, hi, I'm Bob, and I approve of this incline. It just gets steeper. <laughs> just gets steeper and steeper. Not even at the top, but kind of looks like there's some climbing involved. Time to hydrate. <laughs> Definitely need some hydration. Let's do this. This is like one of those times where like I really wish I had a GoPro. So we finally reached this place that's like these pines. And let me tell you, this smells absolutely amazing. Fun fact, if you didn't know, one of my favorite, all-time favorite scents is pine. Woo! Finally some flat land. This feels great. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Look at this! Look at this scene. It is absolutely Wow. Officially have made it to 4,000 feet. This is amazing. Looks like I can officially say that 4,000 feet is my new record. So what do you think about this place? I've been all over the US, Southwest, South, Midwest. This is the most beautiful view I've ever seen. <laughs> so out of all the places you've been, like how do you rate this, like this entire experience of 
climbing to said summit? Top three. Only only downside is the elevation. <laughs> like you're basically scrambling rocks half the time, but but this view is just outstanding. Fun fact, if you ever want to like check out any trails that are near you or if you're looking to explore and like go out of your area and try to find other trails, check out this app called All Trails. Not sponsored, but me and Bob here use this app all the time to find trails. Definitely a great little app to find like trails to hike and places near you and whatnot. All trails. Well, since we're finally up at this place, I think it's time to take a break. Finally have the backpack off. And uh, so Bob has brought dates with him and I've never had a date before. Let's, let's try it. They're like really sweet. It's kind of like a gigantic raisin. <laughs> They're actually not too bad though. Not bad at all. By the way, if you love backpacking, hiking, climbing, what have you, what is your favorite place that you've ever been to, like so far? And also, what is the highest you've ever hiked, climbed, whatever? What is the highest that you've ever been to? I would just, I love, I would love to hear about it. Leave your answer in the comments. But anyways, the sun is starting to set a little bit and I don't want to be stuck up in these mountains. We have like a five mile trek back to the car and every time, you know, I get to said place, the sun's like, nope, Smart. see you later, peace. I'm out. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. Look at this. This just keeps getting better and better. Like, like look at this. This is, this is absolutely insane. Definitely one of the best views I've ever seen in my entire life. At least, at least so far. But anyways, as you can see, sunset is approaching and we are still on top of a mountain. And it's actually starting to get pretty cold, so. Time to get out of here. to walk back like three and a half miles in the dark. It got really cold real quick. I'm freezing, winter is coming. <laughs> and yeah, it feels like fall is just completely flying on by and it sucks because fall is my favorite time of the year. But what are you gonna do? But we're actually going to be heading back to Pennsylvania right now. I'm gonna try to find something to eat along the way. I haven't eaten anything all day besides that date that I tried. So I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Finally home. It's like three or four o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired. But anyways, <laughs> you should definitely smash the like button. No, you should you should destroy it. Destroy the like button. And hit up the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, you should definitely subscribe. I'm just gonna fall asleep right here, just gear and all. I don't I don't even care. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.